Well, good morning again, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. We are back in Pennsylvania on the world famous Appalachian Trail. We're parked off at the parking area off of Route 183. And we're going to be doing a little day hike today, hiking to a place known as the Hurt Line uh, Camp. It's going to be about three and a half miles to get there and then three and a half miles back. There should be some interesting features there to check out. I'll be telling you more about that as we go, of course. But uh, thanks for joining me on another adventure today. Let's get out in nature. Let's go for an adventure. And let's see what we can discover today. Route 183 behind us and moving right along the trail here. It's a bit rocky in spots. Of course, that's to be expected. That's what Pennsylvania is known for. But uh, we're moving right along and hopefully the sun will come out and light the uh, place up a little bit. That stone was commemorating the site of a old fort from the French and Indian War, uh, dating back from 1755. It tells you how long this area has been used by people and uh, how far the history goes in this region. Pretty cool. Alright my friends, well, this Hurtline campsite that we're headed to now, there's no AT uh, shelter there, but apparently it's a very popular place for people to hike in and spend the night. It's about three and a half miles, like I said, if you're coming, if you're heading southbound from Route 183, or you can come in northbound from about 501. That's a little longer, about four and a half, five miles. But it's supposed to be, some say it's like the nicest place to camp on the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania. Now hopefully we'll find out why. Here's a sign for the Calop France Memorial Trail, which leads to the highest point in Berks County. It says it's only a tenth of a mile, so let's check it out. every day you come across a, a mailbox in the woods. Uh, Berks County sure is proud of their high point. They take good care of it. Too bad there's no view, but let's see what the book says. Don't forget to drink water. My first hike in the new year. Just stopped at the Berks County High Point and pretty soon we should be crossing a utility line and then once we cross that utility right of way uh, we should be get, approaching the campsite I don't know maybe like a half mile 
beyond that. So, moving along. So, let me tell you a little bit about the, the history of the Hurt Line camp where we're headed to. Um, back at the turn of the last century, uh, early 1900s, about 1906, a couple of uh, local citizens in the area came up with the ingenious idea of damming a mountain stream there and using hydroelectric power to generate electricity and run it into several of the communities at the base of Blue Mountain. And they got together, they got the money together, and they actually built the dam. And were actually successful in generating electricity over 115 years ago. So what they did was, after they dammed up the stream and they created a, an impoundment, they ran some eight inch pipes down the mountain, 3,200 feet. It dropped 375 feet. And using the force of that water, uh, where it came out, it activated a uh, some sort of mechanism, I'm not exactly sure, a wheel, a turbine of some type, that was able to generate electrical power, which is really quite fascinating. You gotta remember, at that time, electricity was like, it was, they had it in the cities, but out here in the more uh, like rural areas, you still had candlelight, gas lamps. So this was really like a quite a, quite an achievement for the time. And it uh, goes to show you human ingenuity. Um, that's why this camp area is so popular because there's now the remnants of that dam and that impoundment of water where people can swim, especially in the summertime, especially through hikers when it's really hot. And uh, I can't wait to check it out. Now, I really learned a lot of the information about uh, the history here of the company that they formed, which was called the Blue Mountain Electrical Company, I believe. But there was a blog I read in doing my research for this hike. And I can't remember the exact name of the blog. I'll list it down below. But it's a good read if you're curious. And uh, there's also some stories about the Blue Mountain Electrical Company in the Reading Eagle dated from, you know, the, the, circa 1906, 1907. So, again, just cool stuff. It, it, there's so much history in this part of the country and so much history right below our feet. Sometimes we just don't even know it. All right, guys, continuing on the AT here, getting close to the Hurt Line camp. Uh, really been dropping in an elevation several hundred feet and uh, I just twisted my ankle a little bit with all these leaves <laughs> on the ground and uh, all the rocks on the AT. You gotta be careful. Too busy looking around filming and not paying attention to where I'm going. established camp area there's actually built-in tent pads and the AT continues that way but there's also a side trail going that way I'm gonna check that out I think that may be the way down to the water let's find out Now, 
now not only is there this impoundment of mountain water to, to swim in there's also a waterfall pretty cool This is about all it takes for me to be happy. A nice morning hike, a nice cup of coffee, a beautiful place to sit and relax and just get away from the world. It's good for your mental health to get outside in nature and to be able to de-stress yourself from this crazy world we live in. And uh, it's a blessing to be here and thanks for being here with me. Oh, that's good. There's something so satisfying about making yourself a cup of camp coffee on a chilly day. Oh, this is the life. Now let's check out this waterfall. my friends there's not too many places on the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania where you're gonna come across a spot like this is it the best campsite on the Appalachian Trail in Pennsylvania I don't know but it seems like a pretty darn good one to me matter of fact some ideas already spinning on my head about maybe backpacking down to this spot in the future but uh, I'm just gonna finish my coffee here and relax by the this waterfall which sounds so lovely it's, best sound for relaxing and falling asleep to. Thank you for coming along on another adventure. I appreciate you. Happy New Year. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. I love to answer questions about how I film and where I film and why I film. So that's about it, guys. Nature adventure, discovery. Thanks again. See you next time.